my thoughts on the Candace Owens comments. Torture Talk. Torture talk. All right, so this is my thoughts on the Candace Owens, uh, what she said about George Floyd. Uh, full disclosure, I like Candace Owens. Uh, I think that she is an intelligent black woman. Uh, although I don't agree with everything she says, she has some very good points about a lot of stuff she says. I think it gets overlooked, but I'm gonna dig into that. So, so Kansas Owens uh, is a black female who was in the political game, I should say. Uh, she has an extensive background of speaking on criticizing black uh, black people for not uh, intervening or interjecting when it comes to black on black crime. I think that her her argument basically is uh, she want black people to take more accountability for what we do towards each other than actually what happens outside of our race to us um, and I think she has some very good points now as far as uh, her saying that George Floyd uh, wasn't a martyr I understand uh, the terminology she using and I think she was very sympathetic and in which he said about uh, George Floyd that you know he was he was wrongly killed. I think she really put that out there, but I think a lot of people are holding on to the comments that she made because she's so vocal and so she talks with an axe, very very strong on her stance when it comes to certain things. So I think that uh, with that being said, a lot of people they misinterpret or they just don't want to hear what she has to say because you see a visual like that it's kind of like uh it's right in your face so without making that comment um that he wasn't a martyr i think people took it as she didn't care about his death uh but let me do some a little bit of clarifying what she meant by that uh and I don't want to be sound like I'm her lawyer or anything, but let me just do some clarifying. So, a martyr is a person that dies for a good cause, or that dies for, you know, a good person. I'm not saying that he wasn't a good person. Just using it, the that as uh, the definition of it. Her her argument is that he wasn't a good person. He was actually a criminal and he shouldn't be celebrated now here's why I disagree with her I don't think that we're celebrating uh, George Floyd's death I think that she is taking it that way because it's so publicized I don't think that anyone is celebrating a black man dying I don't think that uh, He's a martyr, but I don't think that no one's celebrating his death. I think that what we're trying to, what, 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 what's really going on is that we're trying to get some clarity of why it has to be a black man who the police seem to kill. Now, I'm not saying that the police don't kill other people or other races, but I am saying that sometimes it doesn't get publicized as it it gets with, when it comes to us so it could be that more white people could get killed by police officers but when it comes to black people it is publicized it is put out there we see it so with her saying what she said, I get it, but at the same time, it doesn't fit with what she's what what what's really going on. 
I'm going to be honest with you. I think that his death has sparked a, a worldwide wake up call. And it's not even just for black people. It's just for people who are being being looked at differently, held down. You know, people that are, are, are not being treated fairly. I think that that is the biggest part of what what the outcry is and you might have some people who get on this get on the bandwagon or just get on it because everybody getting on it but who cares if if it's gonna help bring change and be a little bit closer to harmony uh, human harmony i mean what can you really say to that and that's why i disagree with her because I, I I look at it like I get her point. Her point is that this his death shouldn't be the catalyst to us or to Black Lives Matter. Uh, the 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 biggest picture of it. It should be we should be celebrating people who are who are heroes, and in some way, some sick twisted way, heroes are made. That's what I think that she doesn't understand. Sometimes heroes are made out of their death. This is, I mean, this is a perfect example of it. It's not that people are rushing to this. It's just some people are tired. And I think a lot of, I think a lot of politicians don't get that point. That people are not robots. They don't have these feelings that they could just turn off and on. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I get what she's saying, but you can't really say who's a hero and who's not a hero if if they, if it's bringing peace. Like, I mean, you ran down his rap sheet. He could have been a crook. Could have did a bunch of different things. But at that moment in time, he wasn't looked at as a crook. He wasn't looked at as that. He was looked at as a hero. And right now he's looked at. So, I mean, is he really a martyr? I mean, I don't know. I don't, by, by definition, he could be, maybe, or not. But we wouldn't know. But all we know is people are getting along. And it's also some other things that she said. And I think that really really we need to really pay attention now we don't or we don't i'm gonna say people don't agree with candace owens on a lot of things i think that sometimes with candace owens is she's a very intelligent woman and i think that she lacks the uh the communication skills with with the ordinary black American, I should say. I think that she know how to talk to people, but I don't think she necessarily knows how to talk without, without, without people feeling like they're being insulted. So, with that being said, she brings up a lot of good points about our. We need to look in the mirror at each other. Now, is it the wrong time to say that? It could be. But who am I to say that this woman shouldn't say this? I mean, to be honest with you, it's kind of a genius move because she said it during this and everybody's talking about it. Now, some people will look at her like, oh, she's a coon or or she's she's talking about black or uh, 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 white people. And she's 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 saying this. You have to listen to everything someone says before you make a judgment. You can't just go off of what you read in the headlines. You can't just go off of what someone says. Because a lot of times, when someone tells you something that someone says, or you misinterpret what they say, you end up saying something that's not true. And then you spread that. Then you tell somebody else. Then they spread that. And now it's all over the internet. So, the point I'm making about this is, she brings up some very good points about us as as us taking accountability. Now, me speaking as a black man, 
I think that black people should take more accountability for what they do. Um, do I think that we're the only ones? No, but the subject at hand is us. So if I'm talking about us, I'm not going to say, well, other people do it. Like, for example, black on black crime. I'm not going to say, well, other other races kill each other. It's kind of like me saying, well, I don't care if black people kill each other because other races kill each other. That's not the point. The point is, if it's black on black crime, how can we stop it? When people say, well, it's systemic racism. It's it's uh, it's something that it's, it's, it's been around. It's we, it can't be stopped. Or listen, let me explain something to y'all. We are probably the smartest people on earth. Black people are very, very intelligent. If we can figure out how to do anything, we can figure out how to stop killing each other. We're very educated. We have a lot of educated leaders or educated people that's in a powerful position. I just think that that when it comes down to it, some of us are so pushed so far to the left that we are, uh, how would I say this, that we are, we're blinded by what they tell us. And I don't want to really get into the, the whole Democrat and Republican uh, debate, but I will say that I think what she's saying is it's time to wake up now. She's a Trump supporter. But what does that have to do with what she's saying if it's the truth? She can be she can support anybody. But if she's speaking the truth, then what can I can't get I can't go around that. I can't get around that. People say, oh, she ain't speaking the truth, but black on black crime. Should we stop it? If you say yes, then she's speaking the truth because no matter what happens, no matter what she says, no matter who she's married to, no matter who she supports, she says the same thing all the time. She never changes. That's what I like about her. And I think that us as people need to learn how to take other people's opinion and or other people, what other people say. It might make you feel some type of way. It might make you feel funny. It might make you mad. You could just agree to disagree. But if it's Black Lives Matter, then it should be all Black Lives Matter. Not just far left black lives. That's the thing. And I think that a lot of black people are missing that point of it. It should be more than just black lives matter. It should be all black lives matter. That's it. You might disagree with her, but she loves her people. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, which one do you want? Malcolm X or Martin Luther King? Some people hated Malcolm X. Some people hated Martin Luther King. They had two different messages, but they got there the same way. We gotta stop. We have to stop this this killing of the diverse conversation or this assassination of someone's opinion. Your feelings are not facts. I, I can't stress that. I think that we all get into this whole mood. We think that our feelings are facts. And it's not. If someone is saying something that's... And, and they might be going about it at the, to you the wrong way. But if you listen to them and they're telling you something that's good, you need to hear them out. Just at least all the way to the end, but not listen with a skewed ear or a biased ear like, oh, I don't fuck with that person. Or, I can't. No, hell no. Hell no. He, she, he, he support Trump or she support Trump. Hell no. I don't, I don't hear nothing you got to say. I don't hear nothing. How's that? How's that even make sense? That's what I don't understand about the society we live in now. 
I don't understand that. People are so passionate about stuff that's not even true. I don't get it. But Candace Owens uh, is someone that I think that we need to pay attention to. And she might not say things that you might like. You might not like it. Or you might hate it. But try to look at the bigger picture when it comes to certain things. Because if you only looking at your side of the picture, there's a whole other world you done missed out on. That's what people gotta understand. I do this with music. Like, I used to just only listen to hip hop music. Then I started venturing off. And I realized that I was sheltered. And I'm not trying to tell people to go be a Republican or go be a Democrat or go or, or like like Candace Owens because you have to. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that to get to the end of the book, you have to read the whole book. Let me say it again, because you can turn the pages and go to the end of the book. But to get to the end of the book, you have to read the whole book. Think about that. So, so what you talk, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, I'll be doing these videos here and there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure y'all like, man. Let me get in those algorithms by YouTube. You know what I mean? Support your boy. You know what it is. Told you talk.